What is up my fellow creatives? Will Beck here and today we're going to be tackling the freaking most annoying piece of crap program. Look, Adobe Premiere Pro with the Apple M1 MacBook Air is a nightmare whenever you're trying to render and export for a Mogart file, motion graphics template. If you keep on getting those render and export file errors and just fail to produce frame, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to this because this right here is about to be a game changer aha moment. So stay with me and let's get it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is open up Adobe Premiere Pro to a new project and we're just gonna give that a quick name tutorial intro go ahead and overwrite it now as you see over on the right hand side I have the glitch mogroup file motion graphic motion graphics template file I'm going to go ahead and drag that over after I take in a uh, bars and sound put that onto the video timeline drag that over give it a couple seconds to figure out what it's going to do let's go ahead and play it real quick to see what it's going to look like and as you can already tell it's already lagging now this was from Envato I got it off of video hive I did pay for it so I went ahead and unlinked the the uh, the bars to see if that would help I took those out because for some reason on the M1 Max you can't just drag the Mogrit file over and edit it so yeah, we do what we got to do. But anyway, we come over onto the right-hand side. In the control section, we can edit everything into our essential graphics. Uh, control, colors. I like to put on the light leaks and the, the smoke. That's always a nice little look. But as you can see, it's still lagging and everything else. But we're going to fix that momentarily. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start dragging our media over. Just name it Will Beck, Tutorials, Florida. Throw in some videos that I have already set up over here to the side. Pretty self-explanatory. Just, it helps if you're organized and to keep all your uh, files in one folder so that way you don't get confused. Number them even. And the more you work with the Mogart files, the better you get. You figure out what animates, what doesn't animate, what shows motion all the different transitions and whatnot so just have fun be picky choosy figure out the stuff that you like what you don't like and then where the text box are go ahead and fill those out like replace them this is a really cool introduction sequence and so this is kind of like a two-sided video today and what I'm going to show you is you know obviously if you're watching this video you're having issues with Mogart files with Premiere Pro so on and so forth so um, especially on the M1 MacBook Air so as you can see I'm finishing up and moving all of my files over to the right spots making sure all my little social media contact stuff that doesn't really matter they're not links but it lets the viewer check out you know where else they can see your content at so we're gonna go ahead and fill that out real quick watch our channel you can adjust fonts and everything else too if you like but anyways so we're going to try to play it real quick and garbage not fun at all and as you can tell I'm already at quarter resolution can't drop down any further so obviously if we really want to see what it looks like what are we going to do guys well we're going to come over here to sequence settings we're going to just make sure everything's in 4K because this is a 4K Margaret file. Right? Everything looks good. Hit the reset button just in case. As you can see, there's the file format. I'm just going to leave it regular. Hit OK. Sequence. And let's render into out. Now, I'm going to save you some time here because as you can see, here we are at 0.2% really really heavy this is really heavy so it's not going to want to render it's not going to want to export 
but I'm going to show you. I'm going to save you the pain that I've gone through for months. Smash like if you've gone through the same pain with me before. This is sped up a few hundred times. So la, 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 look at the timestamp on the upper right hand corner on my laptop. So this is what it's going to look like, guys. Whenever it's finally done rendering, you got a neat little introduction. Awesome. Okay. Now we want to export. So we're going to go over here. Hang on. Now, obviously, some of those things are out of place and whatnot. So I'm just going to come over here, look for more of my files, figure out what's going on. And uh, if I'm going to do like a tutorials introduction, I'm probably not going to be using skateboarding. I was just throwing some stuff in there real quick. So let's see. Let's do something real time here. And... Do something real time, full resolution. It still looks good. It looks pretty awesome. Now, depending on what kind of channel you have, this is going to look better, worse. So over here, we're going to go ahead and do um, export media. Look at our H.264. Go down to UK or YouTube 4K 2160. I don't know why I said UK. My bad, guys. Anyways, so. I'm going to go ahead and change the file name. I always save everything onto the T7. It's a Samsung T7. So change over that bars and tone. Tutorials, intro, and save. Let's go. And like I said, if you're watching this video, you already know what's about to happen. We're just going to start encoding. 19 minutes and 12 seconds. Like I said, I got the time clock on the upper right hand corner so you can see kind of real time. I'm speeding things up, but you know, you can tell from the time of the screen recording. It was, I think it was what, like 11.04. And see this thing's 17 minutes. Not too bad. You know, that's not too bad for a 30 second introduction, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Bam, and there we go. Error compiling movie. There it is. Okay, so a lot of tutorials will go on here and say, okay, switch it over to QuickTime and to Apple Pro Res. How many of you guys have heard that one? Smash like if you have. Just don't hit the thumbs down. Like, I know you want to, because if you have heard that and you've tried it, and export. Let's try it again. And we wait. We're going to wait some more. We're going to wait some more. Believe it or not, this screen recording is actually sped up. It really is. I'm tempted to grab my mouse right now because I'm doing a voiceover off of my iPhone with the Rode VideoMic NTG. So this is my first time doing a screen recording and then like a voiceover that I'm going to splice in later. So this is pretty raw, actually, which is kind of crazy. But, all right, this clip is almost over, so I'm going to quit rambling on about the mic. Just bear with me. Give me some pointers down in the comments if you like. But here we go. And it just started encoding the bars and tone. Yay! So that's exciting, I guess. Two hours. Over two hours for a 30-second introduction. You wouldn't think that this is so heavy. Until, bam, you get it again. Now you could do software only if you had that option, which I don't. So we're going to go over to project settings, general, and this is where the golden ticket is, guys. So this is where you're going to want to subscribe because now we're going to go over to scratch disks, video previews. This is where everything is being saved. And we're going to go to custom. So we're going to do volumes, uh, T7, always external, right? So that's a look at my T7 hard drive, my SSD. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder. Tutorial intro, okay, choose, okay. Now it's already rendered, obviously, right? So, in a sense, like 
I can't really re-render it because what this is going to use is the preview file. So I'm coming back over here. I know that some of those are garbage. I'm going to go ahead and just swap around some of these files and everything. Pretty much now I don't have a choice anymore. I know I'm going to have to re-render this whole thing. Move some pictures around. That one makes a little bit more sense because of my Lightroom presets, um, tutorials for drones, some gear, a couple little drone shots, little before and afters, so on and so forth. Just scale things back and forth. More Lightroom presets. Those are over on my web, uh, website. Uh, willbeck.co go ahead and check it out so here we are we're gonna go ahead and re-render like I was talking about now that I just switched all that media around like I said this is absolutely where you guys are gonna be like holy crap this is your aha moment if you're a creator and you've have that M1 Mac and you've been bamming your head against a freaking you maybe you just want to throw the computer out into traffic because look it, we're rendering now this is obviously sped up, but six minutes versus two hours. And this is going to be a game changer for you guys. Now, it is kind of a pain, and you're going to have to add your audio later. That is the biggest downside. So, just keep that in the back of your mind. Know that you're going to have to add your music track later. But what you're going to see is this is making that video preview, right? Good times. That video preview was just saved what you see right here the video preview was just saved on the SSD just how we see it right there and of course I got it on full bam here it is that looks awesome that looks cool probably could use some more tweaking but we're for the sake of this video we're gonna get it out today right so go ahead and close out yes we're gonna go ahead and save that let's open it back up Premiere Pro new project let's get it I don't know why my mouse is moving so slow I think I forgot to speed this clip up wow all right but anyways so new project and we're gonna go ahead and retitle it pretty much the same thing tutorial intro final that's how I like to go ahead and save these. Anytime that I'm using motion graphic templates, I have to do this with my M1 MacBook Air. It's the base model. So here we go. That's where that scratch disk saved it. There it is. Drag that right into the project window. Awesome. Go ahead and close that out. Put it right into our timeline. Bam, like so. As you can see, 30 seconds. We could play it. Obviously, there's no music. But yeah, it's working just like it was. Good times. Don't forget to subscribe, and let's get it. All right, now, this is almost done. Almost too good to be true, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to Finder again and over to T7. I'm going to scroll all the way up. I gotta find my music. I use Epidemic Sound. There's a link in my description for Epidemic Sound. You get free trials. I get credit. Like if you subs like subscribe to it or give it a shot, I get a free month of it, so I can continue putting out music. Good times. I'm going to use that one. Behind the line, Tiger Blood Jewel. Super fun. I really like that one. So just go ahead and drag it over. Put it over to the timeline. Now, if you download the entire like all stems from the audio file it even includes markers so I'm going to go ahead and cut it right before that marker right there that's where the beat changes ripple delete it see ya alright I'm gonna come over to the end with my razor tool hit the C on your keyboard razor tool ripple delete the rest of it bam here it is go all the way back just double check it a little bit make sure you don't need to tweak the music track at all and so yeah it's playing nicely I know you can't hear it right now but you will be able to hear it here in a moment because I like that anyways I'm gonna go over to file oops go over to file export media and you know what I'm not doing no QuickTime Apple ProRes anything like that we're just gonna go straight back to the H.264 
YouTube, 4K, 2160, Ultra HD. That's that GWIS setting, right? Oh, don't forget to change it, the file name. I've done that so many times before where I forget to change it, and then it's got some weird funky name to it, and I can't find it, and then, again, I want to throw my computer into traffic. However, so, anyway, so, final edit, intro, tutorial, final edit, save it, come over here, maximum render quality, don't really need that, but anyway, let's export, look at this time, this is not sped up at all, like, real time, you're seeing exactly how long this two plus hour project previously Here we are. We're encoding. Good times, right? So we're going to just wait a few more seconds. This is real time. And if you guys have stayed with me so far, if you have that aha moment right now, by all means, click off of this video. Go ahead and render your project so you can put out your content. But this is the way to do it. Right here. This is the only way. As a matter of fact, Adobe had complete control of my laptop for a solid 8 hours, 9, 10, close to 10 hours. But anyways, so we're going to save that project, close all that out. Now we're going to go back over here, find our file, wherever the heck I put it. I need to reorganize my SSD, obviously, right? But... I don't know how to throw away things. Maybe I'm a hoarder whenever it comes to stuff like that. But anyways, we're going to open it up. Woo! Here we go. Let me know what you think, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Later, guys.